Last week, I made a big mistake. I showed all of you my driver's license, and it's gotten me into trouble. Since then, I've been hounded by debt collectors and insurance companies, saying that I've been in some kind of accident. I'll be fine, but thankfully, this only happens to careless YouTubers, right? It's a global issue, it's a widespread issue. Uh, according to data from Cobalt Labs, around 2,000 uh, cyber attacks happen each day. So it's not just you, it's millions of people that are being, being attacked every day. Oh, I'm not alone then. Well, we've all got some personal information out there. So here, grab a bat. Um, I've got to go and fend off these debt collectors, but wait. How did those other people get their data stolen? I mean, surely we don't all run tech channels. All right, what the heck. From Tech Asia, this is Alfie. Let's dive in. I was, and currently am, the victim of a targeted attack. Someone took the time to steal my credentials and use them to involve me in some kind of nebulous insurance fraud scheme. That's an individually targeted attack, but that's not something most of you have to worry about. In most cases, your data is stolen alongside a lot of other people's data. We're all in this together, aren't we? We often buy from e-commerce websites using our credit card information. If those websites are not verified, there's a possibility that our credit card information uh, could get out in the wrong hands. So these thefts can have some pretty dire consequences, as I found out. Your information uh, can lead hackers to your bank account, to your, to your social media handles, your emails. One thing that they can easily do is steal your identity. It's game over. We can see over here the account as well as the password information and it's been saved into the save.usernames.txt. <laughs> Sketchy websites can get access to your banking credentials or identity documents. But even if you did nothing wrong, you can be impacted by these thefts. Most of these attacks are caused by human error. We tend to often jot down our passwords in papers or in notebooks, for example, with password sharing or taking pictures of sensitive documents. That's enough. Zarif from the Daily Star has been telling me about how these hacks have become more and more common in Bangladesh. I work as an editor at the tech and startup section of the Daily Star, uh, which is the largest English newspaper in Bangladesh. Uh, in July, we reported around 50 million people's data was leaked by a government website. The website in question was the birth registration website of the Bangladesh government. Uh, we saw that uh, 50 million people's data was out in, were out in the open. Apart from that, we've seen uh, other attacks went completely unresponded to. In Bangladesh, we have a national identification number. So that number, uh, we use it everywhere from our healthcare providers to driving license to uh, bank accounts and all that. So if that number gets out, and as far as I know, that number is not changeable. Uh, that's one number that is that's assigned to you uh, permanently. Uh, even if you have to change that, I believe that's a lot of hassle. That's a lot of paperwork and everything. Okay, I don't like that at all. Hey, I said stop it. <laughs> Get out of the frame. But hey. I'm getting ads for credit monitoring services. Surely these do something, right? And I'm here to prove just how safe your identity can be with LifeLock. That's my real social security number. Identity theft protection service company LifeLock is in trouble for failing to actually protect the data of customers like it advertises. LifeLock was forced to pay $12 million in refunds to customers after the federal government alleged it was using false claims to promote its services. It's, if your information is out there, it's, you can, to a certain extent, you can get this information back, but uh, more often than not, the damage has already been done and, uh, you know, financial losses and other. No amount of free credit monitoring is going to make up for the incessant scam and sham telephone calls, text messages, and emails. Hello? No, I don't have a car. Why would I need a car insurance? Or I receive intimidating voicemail messages that the IRS is going to have me arrested for an overdue tax bill I don't owe. You have one old message. And besides, these monitoring services are offered over the course of one to three years. Any savvy thief would wait a few years and act afterwards. Unfortunately, there are no major initiatives from the Bangladesh government to tackle these issues. The government website claims that those data have now been secured. As far as we're concerned, if anyone want to get their, their hands on those data, they already gotten those. So this shows a lack of, um, you know, understanding of the dangers of this data in the government level. That's not to say we're completely defenseless. Frameworks and policies where companies and uh, organizations are required to implement strict data policy rules. As you said, that uh, positive loop of reinforcement where 
they are ensure the protection of the data. If you're if you're an employer, it's better to train your employees on uh, safe cybersecurity measures. There can be a lot of consequences when your data gets leaked, and uh, you sh should be very concerned about uh, your be your data being out there in the open. Uh, if uh, if you want to know more about uh, you know what exactly happens when your data gets leaked and how you can protect yourself uh, against these data measures, uh, I've worked on an article uh, exactly on this topic. You can check this out and our links in the comments. All right, thank you so much for coming to the Tech Talk. Thank you so much for having me. That's all the mobile data we'll be stealing from you in this week's Tech Asia. If you want to check out Zara's piece, it's linked in the description. And we've also linked a video that we worked on, on deepfake scams and how they're used more and more. On that note, I've got to leave. My grandpa's email has been hacked for the fifth time this year. Take care.